I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network and today we're talking with Immutep. Immutep is trading under the ASX code IMM and has a market capitalization of approximately $487 million. Immutep is a clinical stage biotechnology company at the forefront of developing novel LAG3 immunotherapy for cancer and autoimmune diseases. Joining us today is CEO Mark Fucht. Mark, welcome back to the network. Thank you, Peter. Mark, let's start with talking about your most recent announcement. The first subject has been dosed in the phase one study of IMP761. How significant is this news? It's uh, quite significant because it marks uh, the end of the so-called preclinical development of this uh, program. Before you can apply product um, and apply to a human being, you need to test it for a long period of time. So for a few years, actually, you need to uh, manufacture it in the right quality. And now we have been starting the so-called first in men study. Uh, so up to 49 participants uh, will be treated in the coming months. What are the benefits of the fact that the first subject is being dosed by the Center for Human Drug Research? A significant collaboration um, we have entered into because this is a, a center of excellence. Typically, a phase one study is centered around safety. That's, of course, also the case here. However, uh, this center has been developed specific tests where you can already have a read through to the biologic activity of the drug. We talk here about the space of autoimmune diseases and in the later part of the trial, um, the healthy volunteers will be uh, challenged. Um, so we cause a deliberate um, inflammation in the skin and then we give either placebo or IMP761, that's the name of our drug, and see uh, the difference. So have a read into the uh, pharmacokinetic, pharmacodynamic effects, have a read into the safety. So it's for a phase one, a very sophisticated setup. It's a so-called double-blind placebo-controlled phase one in total in uh, 49 uh, participants. So this is a specialized um, exercise uh, to have as much information as we can get out of this phase one clinical trial. And Mark, what are the next steps for IMP761? Yeah, first of all, um, we will uh, uh, conduct this clinical trial and we hope for a very, very good uh, safety profile. It's uh, ascending dose as uh, typically you would do it, then it reads through the biological activity. And then beyond that, for a potential phase two clinical trial, uh, we would need to uh, make a choice in terms of indication. Uh, could be, for instance, type one uh, diabetes, could be rheumatoid arthritis, uh, could be psoriasis, um, because um, our therapy is potentially active in more than 90% of autoimmune diseases. It's an upstream approach, meaning we are dealing with the root cause of the disease, not a symptomatic uh, cure, but we are addressing the root cause of the disease. This is why it's relatively broadly applicable and the clinical reality needs to show where exactly we should make our first step and uh, how we will uh, broaden this program in the future. And looking at the broader company, how is the company progressing and what can we ex expect to see from the company over the next six to 12 months? The company is progressing uh, actually very well. Um, we uh, uh, will have a number of news in the remainder of this year, important milestones to address uh, among them, uh, more data from uh, head and neck cancer, um, more data uh, from uh, soft tissue sarcoma. Importantly, we will become a phase three company. So uh, either by end of this year or first quarter next year, we will have the first patient in, in a phase three clinical trial in first line non-small cell lung cancer. This is um, the most important market in oncology. And we have been entering um, eight weeks ago or so uh, into a collaboration with US Merck. Um, and we combine another drug called Eftilagimod uh, together with Keytruda, the top selling brand in the whole industry, the whole pharmaceutical industry, to address the most important market and the whole range of that market eligible to so-called anti-PD-1 treatment. So we will um, aim to um, set a new standard of care in the most important market in oncology, something which has never been tried by any Australian uh, company. And we will uh, make this reality in the next uh, few months uh, to start this clinical trial. And then uh, in the first half of next year, we will see data from IMP761, the study we just have been discussing. Uh, we will see data from our additional clinical trials. We will recruit patients in the phase three clinical trial 
Um, also, I shouldn't forget metastatic breast cancer. So there's a lot going on, no shortage of uh, milestones, catalyst uh, news flow, uh, which is important in our industry. Mark, thank you for your time today. Peter, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.